Hi, I'm Teacher Edgar. We're going to be working on Intentional Teaching Card M16. Show me five. Now the objective on this is uses number concepts and operations. What we're going to be doing is counting objects up to five, but in different arrangements or different ways. Let me show you what I mean. Emmett, come on over. You can stand right there. I'm going to count some cars. That's something I would advise. Get something that you know your child is really interested in. I'm going to count. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. How many cars do I have? Five. That's right. Now I'm going to put it in a different arrangement and do the same thing again. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five. How many do I have? Five. Five. Yep. They're just in a different way. Now, can you try arranging them in a new way that counts up to five? All right, try it. made a diagonal line. And how many cars do we have? Five. Five. Can you count them for me, please, just so I know for sure? One, two, three, four, five. Wonderful. Thank you, Emmett. That's the big objective, is just to learn how to count and if you want, and how to count manipulatives, really. And if you want, if it helps, you can change the number of items that you're working with and see if five is too big, Let's just get rid of a few. Let's just practice counting the three. If you feel your child can go even higher, go for it. Make 10 cars or whatever it is that your child is really into. If it helps, you can also make some number cards and then practice identifying the numbers and then the, the numeric amount or the value that goes with that number. So let me see where there's one more thing we can do. I'm going to show you a number in it. Are you ready? Yes. Hmm. What number do we have here? Three. We have three. How many dots do we have here? Three. Let's count them. One, two, three. Can you show me three cards? There they are. Let me get these out of the way so I don't get confused. Can you count them for me, please? One, two, three. Three. Thanks, Emmett. I modified it. It's just to make it comfortable for wherever your child is at. And you can also just teach them how to do finger counting. One, two, three, four, five. And you can do this with, like I said before, as many or as few items as is comfortable for wherever your child is at. Or if they are nonverbal, if they're not ready to expressively communicate yet, you can make little piles and ask them to identify the quantities by pointing to it. And I'll give you an example. I have two here, I have three here, and I could ask my child, oh, can you show me the pile with two cars? Point to two cars. Wonderful. And always remember to celebrate the victories. Thank you, Emmett. You're really trying. Any attempt should be celebrated. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.